Okay, here we are, end of a glorious day of the rebirth of the, the end time Elijah. Is it true or not true? Does anybody still care? I thought we do. See if we can get K O R E on the radio. Would that be happy, huh? Yeah, let's see if we can leave that open here. Let's get a little light on the subject. It's my 1972 Ford Custom pickup truck. All American truck. All American blue. Big blue. It's like the big sky in Montana. Okay. 1050 on your AM dial. That's all I got here. Shire and That's all I got. Yeah. How cool is that? that That's pure AM, no FM station. This is made for the Midwest. This is made for driving through God's country. <laughs> Pick up a lot of Christian stations on this radio. So we've got to go to 1050. See if we can find anything. K O R E. Radio Church of God. We found it? Sectarian civil war. By going after the Shia, knowing that the Shia will then radicalize and militarize and come after the Sunnis in return. And when the Sunnis are attacked, oh, no. even if they don't align with ISIS and they don't have the ideological oh, sympathy, God. No. they will see ISIS as a proximate ally because ISIS presents itself as their protector and their custodian. This is exactly what's taking place now. Oh, the no. war in Syria, oh, no. or the uprising in Syria, accelerated this beyond, I think, even ISIS's wildest imagination because that was essentially... Are these the words for America to hear? How did this happen? Which is a sect of Shia Islam. ISIS uh, here, Allah there, Muhammad the here, there, Muhammad there, the everywhere, old oh, McDonald so used to have a farm. This is why ISIS succeeds. And, and they, and, it's as much know, a sociological question as it is a, oh, no. one of the you know, guerrilla warfare see, or insurgency. See, Bush brought this. I kind of look at it this Bush, way. Cheney, and De fence, Ronald Dumsfeld uh, Dumsfel brought this crap to us, our country. It's kind of like a 1940. Maybe that's it. Come on, you're right next door. It's nine, ten, fifty. That is Smitty Michael W. Smith, and uh, good to have you with us, Kurt Goss. And uh, you know what? We just pray for you. Uh, we always pray at the uh, beginning of the show. Uh -oh. and we just finished our prayer during that song, so I just want you to know that we have been praying for you. Hey! Which includes, Lord, who do you want to score the giveaway? The book, The Five Love Languages for Men, courtesy of Moody Publishers. Dr. Gary Chapman oh. is the author, Mr. Five I Love Languages. I got it. Himself. This book uh, is part of the franchise there. It, uh, We're on the air! Men, How to Love Their Wives Better by Understanding How They need to receive love. We need help with that sometimes, right, Bennett? To find out your Urban Armstrong language, Radio Station is back on the air. You can take the free love language assessment for the website. So Otherwise, cool. uh, we're giving this book away to honor men as Father's Day is coming up. 
Phone lines are open. Let's take caller number seven. Caller seven, now's your time to call in. 877 548 3675. 877 548 3675. The radio station that Herbert Armstrong. Founded in 1933, that was taken over by the uh, evangelical heresy started by John Darby in Ireland in 1844. It's not a real religion, folks. Uh, but the whole rapture thing was began by a 15-year-old girl that was in a fever, McDonald, and she read Revelations or something like that, and she was speaking this nonsense while they, you know, were in a high fever. And so uh, that became the foremost religion in America. And they took over the Republican Party, they started the Tea Party, and they took over uh, Herbert Armstrong's uh, radio station. And this is the first step to take it back in spirit. They might own it, they might run it, they might pay for it, but in spirit belongs to the end time Elijah, and it looks like I'm him, and I'm going to prove it. Okay, go Elijah! 